Nice. Here we are on the campus of Green Mountain Valley School in Faston, Vermont, home of Mad River Glen, Sugar Bush, great skiing and a lot of great skiers. This is Logan Slattery, 2012 Junior Olympic Slalom Champion, training on a slack line. Logan, how's your preseason training going? Very well. Um, mostly consists of weight training and slack lining mostly. Logan, what are you doing? I slack lining with a pair of ski poles in my hand to replicate training system and other words, and really, no matter how much weight training you do, or running, or sprinting, there's nothing to really like that. How much time have you spent on a slack line? You seem really good at it. Way too much. <laughs> really, um, I've spent, I've been doing it pretty avidly since I was 10, when I really got into it. 10 years old? Yeah. How old are you now? I'm 16. Uh-huh. And then, um, it's kind of when I started making my break. <laughs> um, and then I got into jumps and started doing really long ones. Uh, one key aspect to slack line that relates to all athletics is uh, the focus standpoint of view. As soon as I start thinking about something else, I'm off the line. It's the same with ski racing, soccer. As soon as you lose focus, balls off your foot, you're out of the course. Yeah, could be more dangerous with slack line too if you're over a big gorge. As soon as you look down or you lose focus, I'm off. If I stay focused, just as in skiing, to have a good run in soccer, I make good runs. That's a key aspect of athletics in general. Um, and I think slackline directly correlates with that and how you always have to be focusing on your visual point, your three points of balance, two hands and a foot. Oh, and that just directs the courts with all athletics. Pretty balance. So if I'm losing an edge, as in a GS course, I should pretty much directly get back to the position as fast as I can on a slack line. Yeah, I'm about to lose it, I can get it back. And that's just because of slack line. 